Welcome to our overview of Acumatica Financial Management. The financial module provides the basis for a strong ERP solution, bringing together your entire operational modules and providing strong auditing and control for your entire organization. To start with, I may start out my day with my controller dashboard. Here I'm going to be able to look at things in my accounts receivable, my accounts payable, but also be able to look at my entire organization, cash position, income, whatever you'd like to track, you can add by designing your dashboard to your requirements. But to begin with, we're going to jump over here to the chart of accounts where it all begins. Here you can see this looks probably familiar to you as you set up your chart of accounts before with cash assets, accounts receivable, current assets, current liabilities, and so on. You can set your description, the type of an account, asset liability, posting options, and even multi-currency rates according to your requirements. Back to my favorites, we'll take a look at the sub-accounts. Sub-accounts or dimensions can, can be up to 30 characters long. In this case, we have two segments, each three digits. This allows me to take a look at my department, but also I can set it up to look at items that I'm selling. For instance, my consumer goods, my electronics, my food items. And this will really help when we take a look at it in the P&L later on. Acumatica allows you to handle allocations. Allocations can come from your statistical ledgers, such as headcounts or square footage. Or if you don't want to do that, we can go in and take one rental expense by branch. It was set up using my source account from the posting from wholesale, and then spreading that out to my destination accounts based on a fixed percentage, 70%, 15% to services east, 5% to products retail, and so on. So allocations can be very flexible for you in many different ways. Here we're going to go take a look at the recurring transactions. I'm sure you go through a lot of recurring transactions, things that happen on a regular basis. You can set those up here, each with their own schedule, even monthly payroll expense if it's static, or in this case, a loan interest payment. I set up to just post my interest payment monthly. You can set this with a specific time, when it should expire, how many months, and what day or week, how you want to have it posted. And then when you're ready, you can go into the finance modules and run your allocations or generate your recurring transactions. Throughout Acumatica, if you've taken a look at something called the processes like this, run allocations, it's important to note that you can also set up these allocations, whether the head count or the branches, etc., to run on a specific date and time. I could select all of these items and go up here to the little clock where it says schedules and add a schedule. From the schedule, I can give this a description, a starting date, tell it it never expires, or set an execution limit of maybe I want to run it through the end of the year. I can set the schedule to run daily, weekly, or in this case we would run, want to run this monthly on a specific first or end of the month, last of the month, or by financial period. At the end of the period, I want to run this at midnight. This means you don't have to come in and run allocations, manually process things, remember to do everything before month end. All this will be done automatically for you based on your automation schedules you set up. Next, we're going to go take a quick look at journal transactions. These are just the manual entries that you make periodically or things that come from your ledgers, from your accounts payable ledger. Wherever it comes from the system, it keeps track of what's being posted. You could create a new transaction by just clicking on New Record and then begin adding in the descriptions and titles, everything that you want to run. But there's another feature found throughout Acumatica that's very important and help you to really streamline your efforts. You may have a journal entry that you keep, you've been working on, and you've developed it out and kept it in a spreadsheet. 
Very simply, you can go out. If you need to change the titles from your spreadsheet, maybe it didn't match up exactly with this, you can simply open this up, find the property name from your spreadsheet, and assign it to the column that you want it to be in Acumatica. No column delimited tracking or coding required. Simply map your column headings from your spreadsheet to here, and everything's brought in. In this case, maybe if you're not using Acumatica's fixed assets module, if you're using another system, if it has open API, that could be automated for you. But if not, or if you're tracking it on a spreadsheet, you can bring in your depreciation expense each month very simply by here. It must be in balance to be posted. But once you have it, it's set. If you needed to make changes, you could. As long as it stayed in balance, you're good to go. While we're talking about prepaid expenses and journal entries, etc., I am going to take a, a small detour from the finance module section to talk a little bit about using deferral codes. Deferral codes are items that you can set up the way you want to. In this case, I've created one called a 12 month insurance deferral, but I'm evenly prorating this by day. So we're going to see how that's end up being used. Going to my bills and adjustments, I've already entered an invoice here from Nationwide Insurance. I'm going to go to Nationwide and see I've got property insurance ready to be expensed to my insurance, but instead of expensing it and then or expensing it to my prepaids and then rewriting a journal entry that I have to remember to code and post for how many months, I simply go in here, select my deferral code, and save that. Now when I look at the deferrals, I'm going to be able to pull this up, generate the transactions, and you'll see that the system is going to post on the recording date of 9.30 the $204 that's remaining in this month, and then evenly for the next 11, 11 months or 12 months, and then the 13th month we're going to have the final balance so that the 4600 is automatically taken care of for you and there's nothing left for you to do. It will take care of it automatically. And now for the end results. What we've all been waiting for is to take a quick look at the reporting, the financial statements within Acumatica. Acumatica gives you the ability to run multi-company, multi-division, roll those divisions up into a company report or a consolidated report of multi-companies. In this case, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the balance sheet. Running a balance sheet for the current period, we'll take a look at the balance sheet for the entire company, but I can also go in here run the balance sheet by a division, by a company, and again for the consolidation of all of the companies in my system. While we're on our company, we'll take one look at how it handles some of the intercompany relationships. You'll see I have a do from related company in my products wholesale branch. The financial reports give you the hyperlink capability while you're looking at it to simply go in, identify where that change was, it was 45 cents in September, drill back on the original transactions, open it up to see that there was an inventory transfer for one Powerade, 32 ounce, take a look at the financial adjustments that were made by that, and when that transfer was made, Acumatica automatically recognized the intercompany transaction and created the due from and due to related balancing entries for my two divisions and companies. Continuing back to the reports, we're going to see that there's many reports. We won't go into all of these, but you can set them up also for multi-currency and you have the ability to consolidate companies with different currencies across the system. 
You can also do profit and loss by branch. Or maybe you want to do profit and loss by product line. By clicking on this, we're just going to run a report. And if you remember when we talked before about the sub accounts, here I'm able to track by consumer goods, electronics, food items, and do a comparison of my P&L across product line. I can also do a 12 month review. I'll run this report and it'll take the current month and the prior 12 months, give me a rolling look at my P&L. I can also do this by product, by branch, as you've seen before. Or I could go in and let's make an edit of this report. I'm going to edit the report. Instead of branches, I want to do it by the products that we just talked about. Change it to products. I'm going to save that. Take a preview of it. Run the report. I have the same P&L that we just saw, but now I'm able to break that down by product line. Any of the reports that we've been looking at, of course, you can print. You can export them to Excel or PDF. You have full hyperlinks, or you can send them out in an email attachment. As soon as you do this, you can have a template email. You'll notice that there's a file up here. It automatically attached this report as a PDF to send out in my email. As you can see, Acumatica provides a robust core engine as the basis of your entire ERP solution. For more information on Acumatica's cloud-based ERP, please visit our website at aswiUS.com.